Well, good day, friends and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 6, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out looking at the Pacific Disaster Center, give you a quick update on all of the volcanoes that have been updated recently. Nevados de Chilean in Chile, Sabancaya in Peru, Karamiski, Russia, Shevelich in Russia, uh, Dekono in Indonesia, Large 7.2 earthquake last night. Well, late yesterday in Papua New Guinea. But look at all these earth, the volcanoes, Ibu in Indonesia, uh, Planchon Petora in, in Chile, Sinabung. We have had very active volcanic activity, and that's due to so, uh, solar conjunction as well as planetary conjunction. Our sun is very active. Two huge sunspots. And one of them has been shooting off CMEs the last two days. And here is the most recent one, looking at the last go two images. A northwest eruption. But this sunspot is so active, I am really afraid that it might produce an X flare today. So please stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to Morning Dew because I will be keeping you updated on these two sunspots. Very active. I've been watching these sunspots for the last couple days. But look at this. Snap. It is spinning around and around. Electric energy just being whipped. Plasma filaments being ripped away. Bzz. Wow. Amazing images coming out of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. For all of those who joined me in the live stream last night, I really appreciate it. That was something new I wanted to try out. Playing a little bit of hockey. For those who didn't, they unsubscribed. But again, please stay aware and prepared as this sunspot could possibly produce something disastrous today. I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. Amazing. I'm just going to flip over to another image here so that we can see the sunspots inactive in action. Delta class sitting there, very strong red, a little bit of blues just above it. But the sunspot coming behind it is a lot larger. Bigger red zone, bigger blue zone right behind it. Oh boy. Just gonna leave you here looking at images from 304 angstroms. This is where we can see a lot of the plasma being ejected off the sun. And here we are, the last 48 hours, sorry, the last 24 hours for earthquakes. You can see that large 7.3 in Bululu, Papua New Guinea, and that was at 127 kilometer depth. Very deep earthquakes on either side. Fiji, as well as Indonesia, 5.0s. As well as that 5.2 in Russia. Seems to be pretty quiet. Northern Hemisphere, North America. A lot of the action is on the western side of the Ring of Fire. 
And now we have an earth sa- earth-facing sunspot coming to earth-facing sunspots. So watch for seismic uptick over the next five days for sure. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, you can see most of the action was centered Indonesia and western parts of the Ring of Fire. It was a slow week, but it has definitely picked up over the last few days, as predicted in the last couple videos with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Also, check out the month of May for planetary alignments. That's a video I just released a few days ago. And here we are, a five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Looking at some very cold winter temperatures. So, uh, southern hemisphere, of course, Antarctica, looking at minus 65 degrees Celsius. Also watching this large low pressure system just south of South America. You can watch it develop here over the next few days as it bashes into the Antarctic Peninsula and then splits. Multiple vortices in these large low pressure systems. Across North America, United States, you're going to be looking at some extreme weather over the next week because, well, tis the season for tornadoes. Um, and through Tornado Alley, it is going to be active. Parts of Canada, looks like we're uh, we are actually going to warm up, looking at possibly 25 degrees by Friday. That's fantastic. And that's more like spring. Some seasonable temperatures coming to Alberta and BC. And then I'm sure it will slowly move east across Canada and we will be into summer. No spring for you. Nah. Well, we'll get a few weeks of spring, but I think now it may be safe to start planting. No other major weather systems to talk about today. So this is it for Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please stay aware and prepared. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Because across Austra northern Australia, we've got two cyclones forming next week. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friend and family across the world.